I'm not dead. Welcome back, Nerd Squad, to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host, Connor Monroe, and yes, I still work here. If you're new or haven't yet, be sure you hit like and subscribe, as well as ringing that bell, because we upload nerdy content daily. Now, if you saw my Batwoman Facts video, you know I love the Arrowverse. I've met Stephen Amell, David Ramsey, John Barrowman, and Danielle Panabaker, and hopefully I get a chance to meet more. And this year, the biggest crossover on TV ever is happening with these shows. The comic storyline of Crisis on Infinite Earths is being brought to TV in a five-part, five-hour crossover to end all crossovers, and all Earths, and Arrow. So we have to try to figure out what the hell is going to happen before it does, because we as a race gots to know! So warning, spoilers ahead for essentially every DC show. Just assume that every season is fair game here because there's a lot of evidence. So. Let's do it! Starting us off in at number 10, Barry Allen won't die. While it's fairly obvious that Earth 1 Barry Allen won't die in the upcoming Crisis, despite what everyone on the show might think, Arrow is ending 1-2 to two episodes after the Crisis event, and The Flash still has a full season, and we have heard no news of cancellation. And while the Monitor said many times that The Flash needs to die, he never said our Flash just THE Flash. This leads people to believe it will be a Flash from another universe. Jay Garrick, Jesse Quick, or maybe even Wally West. And while Wally would make sense and give everyone a reason to stop asking for him back, there is one clip from the trailer that confirms a suspicion I've been having since Elseworlds. This image shows the Flash logo laying on the ground, as if the Flash had just sacrificed himself. But it's not Barry's. At least not our berries. It's the original Barry Allen from Earth 90, numbered after the original Flash TV series featuring John Wesley Shipp as Barry Allen. Will this be the Barry Allen that dies? Finally closing off that TV series and that storyline? Who knows? Well, they do. And everyone on the show. Because they, they wrapped filming. Okay, next number. Next up at number 9, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne has been name dropped countless times over all Arrowverse shows. Be it referenced as the vigilante from Gotham, Oliver suggesting Bruce could be the Green Arrow, and now, with Batwoman and Elseworlds being referred to directly as Batman, and he's been missing for several years. One Reddit theory suggests that the Monitor recruited Bruce Wayne before he disappeared, and that's why he ended up abandoning Earth 1 Gotham. It is highly out of character for Batman to abandon his beloved city, and as we know from promo images, he is still alive. The theory of Batman hopping Earths has some legs as well. In the first episode of Season 8, Batman's mask appears on Lian Yu in place of Deathstrokes when Oliver gets rescued. Why would a Batman mask be on Lian Yu unless Bruce has been hopping around universes? Perhaps he was spending time training for the upcoming Crisis, which could also explain his older appearance, since he's been confirmed to be portrayed by Kevin Conroy come the crossover. I'm Batman. Where is he? Where's the monitor? Number 8, The Next Crossover With the end of the last crossover, we got the title of this one. Elseworlds was in all honesty a crossover to build on characters for this one. Oliver made his deal with the monitor, he learned about Barry, and the red skies could have just been due to antimatter. Who knows what Deegan was doing. But fans are worried about this crossover just building hype for the next one. Whatever it is, we don't know. It could be Black as Night causing everyone who dies in Crisis to return, and therefore bringing back Oliver Queen for the crossover, after his death, and maybe even Barry Allen, or it could be Rebirth, which could also bring back Oliver, just to probably kill him again. While the possibilities are endless and we aren't sure what storylines will be adapted next, it is almost certain that Stephen Amell will return to take up the mantle as Oliver Queen one last time. Or at least, they'll say one last time. And at number 7, Barry will die instead of Oliver. This is pretty far-fetched, especially since we know Barry isn't going to die. Barry, after accepting his death to save the multiverse, has been preparing the team and the city for a world without the Flash. And Oliver has been helping the Monitor get items. Whereas now, he started to fight back and even trying to kill the Monitor. With good reason. The Monitor isn't being too forthcoming with his plans with either Barry or Oliver. And as far as we know, neither knows about the other's involvement. Barry has also seen himself die, whereas Oliver only has the Monitor's and his future children's word. But in the season finale of Arrow Season 7, we see the Monitor bring Felicity somewhere to which there is no return, saying she is finally ready to see him. After everything we have seen about the coming crisis, the only character we have seen die is Barry, and we know that Oliver is somewhere only the Monitor can get to. Perhaps Oliver will join the fates and Barry will truly die. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Number 6, Where is Oliver? Speaking of where Felicity is brought in Season 7, where is it? There are several theories as to what happened. Perhaps Felicity just accepted death and she was brought to the afterlife. Maybe Oliver, as I suggested earlier, joined the fate after proving himself in the crisis and his reward was Felicity when she was ready. But I strongly believe she was brought to our time. This event took place in 2040, where William and Mia, Oliver's kids, are adults and are now Team Arrow 2.0. Emily Bett Rickards, the actress who plays Felicity, has left the show. However, it has been confirmed by Stephen Amell that she will be back for the season finale. We heard no references to Felicity seeing Oliver after the crisis 
crisis in the flash forwards. However, maybe this is because she hasn't. The monitor may take the 2040 Felicity back to 2020 in the season finale, where she will see that her timeline has changed and that Oliver is still alive. There is more evidence to the timeline changing, but I will get to that later on. Halfway through a number 5 Smallville reboot. With Arrow ending, the CW needs another DC show to have on air if they ever want to do another huge crossover. And we know that characters, particularly Superman from Smallville, will be making an appearance in this crossover. Maybe they will have a reunion season for Smallville waiting until the next crossover, so they can do something just as big as Crisis. Sure, it's most likely not going to happen, but if it did, it would give the next crossover another episode to work with. And they could handle it like they are handling Arrow with 10 episodes, enough for fans to be happy and for the crossover to get an episode out of it. And it would also finally wrap up everyone's storylines for good. And then number 4, Supergirl dies. While this is highly unlikely, this is something I haven't really seen anyone talking about. In the original comic storyline for Crisis, hundreds of characters die, including Barry Allen, which we talked about earlier, and also Kara Zor-El. While this is also not likely, this could also affect the entire multiverse. Some fans say we've been alluding to Oliver's death this whole time, with him dying on Earth 2, him being willing to sacrifice himself multiple times, his deal with the Monitor, and his Nazi death in Crisis on Earth X. However, we have seen similar things with Kara. Kara doesn't exist on Earth 1. She has also been willing to sacrifice herself multiple times, taking a lightning bolt in the helicopter in season 1 in the crossover with the Flash, getting shot in Duet, another crossover with the Flash, and her having lost Monel, and being heartbroken because of it, willing to risk her life for her city. While she also has a full season ahead of her, there is Superman who can take over the mantle, at least for the rest of the season. They could just bring everyone back, in all honesty. They probably won't. Getting close to the end here at number 3, Earths Collide. One issue all these crossovers have is that until Crisis on Earth X, Supergirl was never included. Heroes joined forces and Invasion didn't include the Supergirl show, with Invasion only having a brief cameo at the end. The fact that Supergirl does not know what's going on until the characters from other shows tell her is something that has become annoying for several fans. While the DC TV universe is vast, Crisis is the perfect time to prevent things like this from happening again. The original purpose of Crisis was to get rid of the DC multiverse and have everything in one Earth so more readers could understand. The same could be said about the shows. The multiverse can be confusing to newer fans, and with Arrow and Ending, they will need to get more viewers on other shows somehow. They could also bring Black Lightning to Earth 1, which fans speculate is actually currently on Earth 38. But there are some lines in the Black Lightning Crisis trailer that make it seem like his Earth has been destroyed. Perhaps joining Earth 1 is how he gets everyone he loves back. He says like, no one will have to die, my world's destroyed and you're selling me I need to save everyone, something like that. Penultimately at number 2, Jon Stewart. Ever since the Arrow Season 1 Episode 1, we have been waiting for Jon Diggle to be revealed as Jon Stewart, a Green Lantern that first appeared in Green Lantern and Green Arrow number 87. With his origins being connected to the Green Arrow and them having similar first names, we have been waiting for Digg to get his sweet green ring. The most likely case would have been in Elseworlds, where Deegan was screwing with everyone's fate. He could have at least gotten some fan cred for confirming our suspicions, but he didn't. Instead, we got a reference that on Earth-90, John is the Green Lantern. Theories about Crisis also mention that since Lila will become Harbinger, then perhaps it's about time, with Arrow coming to an end and all, that John gets his Lantern Ring and fulfills the prophecy we have all had in our minds. And maybe he can keep defending the Earth after the show and that's his happy ending. But will it be with Lila? After that last Arrow ending, I don't know. And finally, taking our number one spot, Oliver Queen won't die. Look. I don't want Oliver to die. He's the reason I started watching and has honestly inspired me to be a better person. And after starting the Arrowverse, there is no way they can kill him off. This is a personal theory I have and I have a lot of evidence, but I'll just use the good stuff. The timelines we've seen in these shows have changed. There was Flashpoint, then Elseworlds, and the original 2046 that the Legends visit in Season 1, where everyone thought Oliver was dead, but he wasn't, where Connor Hawk has taken over the Green Arrow's mantle and his father was dead. This of course has changed, but it proves that timelines are not not set in stone. And even in the current show they are changing the timeline, with Mia and William appearing from 2040 and telling them things about the future that have already started to change. Roy is on the team instead of on Lee and Yu, Renee is dead set on not being a corrupt mayor, and Oliver had never seen his kids until the Monitor had brought them back. Oliver has been shown to have a special skill which was used in Season 1, the ability to suffocate someone until they're unconscious, making it appear like they were dead, until he touches their neck and they wake up. This was also used in Season 4's flashbacks on Diana. This could be used on him to have the Monitor or someone else believe that he's dead, to which Oliver can use to finish the fight. The future we see in Legends also takes place 6 years after the events of these flash forwards. So perhaps the reason Felicity is gone in that version, take note that Oliver never says dead, only gone, is because she has been taken by the Monitor while Oliver is still hiding. Maybe Felicity makes a deal with the Monitor to bring Oliver back or keep him alive and that's where she ends up. Holy crap! 
Just thinking about these theories has me hyped for this crossover. I've been spitting a lot. If you enjoyed, be sure you hit like and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for daily nerdy content and ring that bell for constant nerdy notifications. If you are looking forward to this crossover, let me know in those comments as well as your favorite theory and Arrowverse show. It's Arrow for me, obviously. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe and I'll hopefully see you in another video, but probably not for a while.